Did you ever thought about how to control your Flipper Zero when it's not right next to you, like here? In this video, I will walk you through all the remote access methods I've tested, so stay tuned. There are times when you need your Flipper Zero up and running, but you can't be physically at the same place. That's why I'm sharing all my experiment and thoughts about remote access methods. First, we are going to explore solution using a local PC. An obvious solution when using a local PC is to take benefits of the built-in remote control present in QFlipper application. However, the maximum distance between the Flipper Zero and the PC, which is you, is pretty limited. It might be around 3 meters or approximately 10 feet, which is the maximum standard length for USB-A to USB-C cable. And after this, you might experience signal loss or power delivery issue. But that's up to you, because if you spend more money to get a better cable, you might get longer. Instead of using QFlipper, you could even use a web browser, as long as it's a Chromium-based one, such as Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. And from there, you need to browse to lab.flipper.net. And here you will have also the ability to control what if you don't have any graphical user interface. You could still use the serial command line. And for this, on the Mac here, I already changed the directory to dev. Then I use screen and the device is called CU USB. And then my flipper name. And here we go. It's pretty cool looking here with the ASCII art. And then you could type help and see all the different commands. Of course, it's going to be way different than using the graphical user interface, but it could be useful for scripting. The last solution I wanted to mention, like using a local PC, but I should say more a local smartphone, is pairing your smartphone with the Flipper Zero using Bluetooth. Thanks to the Flipper app, you could control the Flipper Zero depending on your environment from about 10 to 30 feet, which is 3 to 9 meters. Now we are stepping away from the local computer and accessing the Flipper Zero from a remote PC. This PC could be located anywhere physically. Easiest way to share all the different methods we have already covered is to give remote access to the host. So here I'm setting up like screen sharing on macOS. So here I have enabled it and I even set up VNC viewer may control screen with password, which I'm going to define here. And then I will switch to the remote desktop computer that is going to control the macOS. So in the meantime, I have installed Tide VNC, which is a VNC client, and I have set up the IP address of the Mac here. So I'm going to click on connect. Now it is asking me for the password I have set up in macOS interface. I just put it and hit enter. So right now here I have the invite to log in on the Mac. I'm going to enter the password as well. And let me adapt because the screen is pretty high res on the Mac compared to this recording. And here we have access to the desktop, which is pretty neat, but you have also to keep in mind, there is a slight delay here 
based on the resolution and the bandwidth that is available to stream this computer. Another solution will be to use USB over IP. This will encapsulate USB request and data into IP packet. I made a demonstration on how to use it with an ACRF in the video on the top right corner. And by the way, it was not compatible with Mac. I did this on Linux only. If you still wanted to explore the serial option, you could connect to SSH on a remote host and then via an auto login script start automatically the screen session connected to the Flipper Zero using serial.